one of my viewers wanted to know, uh, I think it was Andrew, who is in the UK, um, wanted to know what the lift test is, the coil lift test. Okay, so I know that as a coin hunter, I know that my coins here in the US, I can see a coin about nine or 10 inches away from the coil in really good conditions, okay? So if I have a signal that reads six inches deep, what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm going to swing over the target and gradually lift the machine and see where that signal goes away. Now I have a target here that reads 1242 at 10 inches deep. I'm using the big coil and it's running at 24 in auto plus three, which is decent sensitivity, but I'm only gonna wanna be able to lift that up an inch or two. It's all about sizing the target. I wanna make sure that's not something huge. If I think that I have a coin six inches in the ground and I'm way up here at two feet above the ground and still getting a signal, that's just something monstrous. That's not a coin. I'm only after coins, okay? So that's what that is. You just gradually lift the machine, okay? Say you have it three inches above the ground and you have a six inch deep target that's reading on the meter, okay? So that coincides with how long or how far a coin can be away from the coil and still be seen. That matches. That's just sizing the target. So that does seem like a coin sized thing. Again, if you're way up here, you're 18 inches, 20 inches above the ground, and you say that you, it, the machine says it's six inches in the ground, that's just not realistic. You can't see a coin that far away from the coil. That's all it is, is just gradually lifting the machine to make sure that you don't have something huge. This one, again, I am in uh, a ball field that I have never been to before. This is a place I've never hunted before. And I'm in the warning track. The warning track is just this 10 foot wide thing that, you know, warns players that as soon as you get on the gravel, you're about to run into the fence. So I'm gonna have a look at this. The coil lift test matches it. Definitely seems like a small target. It's coming in weak. I kind of have to work to get it. 12.42 at 10. This can go either way. This could be a silver, or this could just be a really deeply buried clad something or anything else. Hopefully I'm gonna run into some dirt here pretty soon. Um, if not, hopefully the coin is still, is still what I want it to be. It's not out yet. So we'll see if the pinpointer can see it. No. Oh yeah, maybe just a little bit. See if I can sneak it out of there. Okay, it's right on it, and the pinpointer's all the way in the hole, so that definitely matches. Hopefully I'm gonna come away with a coin, not something big. It's out. Wowza. It's huge, <laughs> and it is a coin. It has a reeded edge. That is a that is a half dollar. I think. Yeah. That is a uh, nineteen thirty three, maybe Walker. What do you think of that? Anthony, buddy, what do you think of that shit? That was a nice deep one right there. You know, the pinpointer was on it. I'm gonna say it was just that, nine inches deep. 
but that's another signal that I have done I've done really well in these warning tracks I don't know if people just don't think to hunt them or they think it's wrong to dig up the sand or whatever it is but I tell you what um, somebody really missed out on that one because that's a really nice looking coin that's a 33 yeah I don't see yeah I definitely have never dug a 33 before I've dug about 10 walkers but I think I have a 35 I don't know where the camera's looking but yeah that's um nice I was in Ferris coin combined so that's why that read that um, it can read it at 1241, 1242, 1243. If I was to check that in 50 tone high trash, it would have gone down to something like a 147, uh, 247. Something the ferrous numbers would have been super low and the conductive numbers would have been super high. So, um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very, very pleased with that. This is the first silver coin I found here. I've been here about an hour dug a probably a dozen other clad coins uh i was looking up on this hill and all this kind of stuff but um now to find this here that really gives me some uh, spark in my step because that means that means it's the possibilities are perhaps endless i'm just going to keep on trucking down this uh down this warning track and we'll see what happens <laughs> 